Wow. That would be so good. Hey. Do you want to die? I think it did. Wow, okay. I'm not even sure how the other one died. But let's save. This is a cool room. Guess I can't go up here, but. Like the, uh. Huh. Like sewn together, but. Cool. I thought it was lava at first, but I like that texture. What? What? That brick just hurt me. <laughs> Is that what just happened? Oh yeah, didn't I actually... I actually did pick up the BFG. Because I got it from that tank. And I completely forgot about it. I watched... Because I saw it back on the video. So I actually did get... I, I forgot about it again. I could have used it in that battle. Fucking hell, what dumbass. So I do have the BFG, and the whole time I've just been like, I don't have it. Okay. Who the hell is that? Uh oh. Gonna be a boss fight. Save. This is pretty cool. Ooh. The aesthetics really got carried on in Doom Eternal and stuff, didn't they? Candles, never good. Oh, that's badass, dude. The uh, hill. Upside down cross, that's always a good sign and all. So, uh, I'm going to save, but are we, I guess we're still on Mars, right? We <laughs> was, were, were we actually just teleported, like, underground? 
and hell just is here, or... Who knows? Maybe that's too, uh, literal. Uh, fucking party lights. The old uh, strobing candles. Not sure what the best weapon is for. Oh. Okay, you were very casual about all that. <laughs> Is this the end? <laughs> Was this the no, it's not. Well, it's not the icon of sin anyway. I thought they were going to redo that, but this is just the fucking Doom One boss, right? Cyber Demon. Let's save. I guess. I guess. I don't know. Do I save there? I don't know, man. So nine. <laughs> Oh shit. Sorry, let me move. No, I got stuck. I think there was something else there though, wasn't there? Which is gonna be Oh yeah, I have to hold it to do maximum damage. Cool. Oh, I'm in hell, right? What just happened? <laughs> what? Does it explode if you hold it down too long? But you don't see the exp there's no like explanation of that. <laughs> Probably is right. Still got more where this came from. I don't know if I can just hold it, or if that is what killed me. Oh, it does. Okay, I should have tested that earlier. That's kind of weird. I wish there was like an explosion animation, <laughs> some green flash, something that like <laughs> made it at all clear. Okay. Fine, I guess. Nope, definitely don't delete. <sighs> Fuck off. What will be unleashed? Ah! It's just a second from releasing. Like, fucking hell, dude. That's like really unforgiving. There's like no feedback at all that's gonna happen. I don't even know where I fired that because of this dick quad. Kind of weird how that works. How the fuck does <laughs> does that like throw your 
that one nearly fucking killed myself. Okay. We're down to the old plasma gun. So, do I just have this end? No, I don't have that endlessly, do I? I don't get how the soul cube is supposed to be like this ultimate fucking weapon. It's like, it really depends on the user not dying. <laughs> it's like you have to you have to exist in a video game where you can be 98% injured and then This is the sprint by the way. It's so slow. Oh. Holy shit, if you get hit once, that's just like... Game over, man. I'm actually doing damage, like, am I supposed to hit him in a certain... ...spot? Is the game... ...that sophisticated? Not sure. There are some ammo things over there, but... Woo! Oh, actually, there's armor on there. Like... Uh, fuck. Right, like... Oh, it's just health and armor, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, come back. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of cool, though. Is that really the final boss? <laughs> Recon Zulu, this is Echo One. Give me a Guess it was. Hmm. Echo One, this is Recon Zulu. We've got massive damage all over the base. This place looks like hell. I've got life signs on the bio scanner. Nice sharp. Echo One, we've got a survivor, a marine. Corporal, you hear me? You all right? What? Can you hear me? What am I Echo doing there? Am I just drunk or what? <laughs> for medevac. Have you located Counselor Swan? Yes, sir. He's dead. Roger, Recon 1. What about Dr. Petruger? He's nowhere to be found, sir. Okay. Okay, well, it was Doom 3. I've never finished that game before. Um, hmm. Interesting game, isn't it, really? I mean, it's, it's like... <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because it's it really is a bridge between the original Doom... Well, Doom 2, I guess. And the new Dooms, because the new Dooms have this style in a lot of ways. A lot of the enemy designs... A lot of the basic, I guess, ideas that they had, but probably didn't really fulfill in this game. You know, like the idea of getting health from kills to keep you going. That happened with the, you know, the soul cube. 
Soul Sphere, sorry. <laughs> um, wait, is it Soul Sphere or Soul Cube? Soul Sphere, I don't know, I don't whatever. Um, but enemies having like multiple attacks, a lot of the aesthetics, uh, when it comes to like the alien stuff, a lot of that was uh, used. All the enemy types as well, like those teleporting guys. Um, but yeah, but then it's also very, yeah, it's very, it's an interesting game. Hmm. Yeah, underwhelming, but at the same time it did have cool stuff. Like like, like I said, if it was given like six, no, not six months, a year of development time, right, it could be like brilliant, because I think there's a lot of stuff there. I just need like refinement, I think, and because it's a bit odd how it, it sort of, Went away, it, it, it you know went away from what Doom was, which was like really fast, actiony, you know, endless sort of um, action kind of game because you could sprint endlessly, very, very, very fast uh, sprint. Uh, you didn't have to reload. Um, ammo was shared between weapons, and that stuff was kind of taken out of this, um, which makes this more conventional than that. Uh, because I guess they were kind of like updating it because at the time obviously all other FPS games basically did those things and so they kind of did it here and and I, I do love the horror aspect that they would that they that they went down because I think that was to me I always think of the original Dooms horror game like I, like it was horror esque to me when I played it as a kid um, lots of like darkness light lighting. Like flickering, like a uh, contrast in the lighting, you know, you'd have like bright areas, dark areas, and you couldn't see enemies that are in the dark areas, and uh, it was pretty creepy. And you could hear enemies that were around in the world, and but you didn't really necessarily know where they were. And so I'm, I'm really, I'm really glad they did that, but it wasn't quite fun enough. <laughs> it didn't quite, sort of, didn't go far enough in a way. Like, like they should have made it more survival horror, I think like truly survival horror where it was a bit more open you know you had to maybe choose like you had a f it wasn't so linear you had a few directions you could go in and pick and choose where and when you want to go to places like a survival horror game which is basically like an adventure game like a point and click adventure in its layout you know maybe it had more survival aspects that were fun mechanics that you could engage with um so it really pushed that direction, but then when you got to hell, which I think you could have got to a lot quicker, and hell could have been longer as well, because it's pretty damn short, it's like half an hour <laughs> in, I don't know, what, am I on like episode 20 or something, and so that's, um, what is that, I don't know, 20 half hours, 20, 40 minutes, I don't know, it's quite a long game, but it's literally like one video, I think, <laughs> was in hell. Um, which is, I guess is not really what you expect, um, but I really, but but that contrast between a sort of limited, you know, human, mortal side, scary, you know, you're sort of depowered, and then having hell where you could sprint endlessly, and there's sort of the supernatural side that would, if they accentuated that as well, made that really fun, you know, like if it was. A bit more towards Doom Eternal kind of rhythm action, sprint way faster, you know, like double the double the speed of sprint easy in hell. Do something with the weapons or whatever that, that makes the ammo be easier, maybe you don't need to reload or I don't know, something. When you're in hell, make it super action -y, really cool. And then you go back to like the survival horror aspect and juxtapose those two. I think that would have been fantastic and I think that's probably... The idea that they had, but I just it just feels like they didn't have time to polish, you know, there's a lot of like I said, a lot of the sound effects stock um, which, you know, obviously loads of games did that especially back in the day, but I guess from Doom you sort of want more than that, you know I mean, even, even back then I think it was a bit I remember reading reviews. I remember, I remember fawning over this game as a kid, and then it's funny that I never really bothered to play it. But um, 
but I, you know, obviously, I didn't, it was required a really powerful PC. I didn't have a. I don't think I even probably had a PC at the time, but I remember seeing it in games magazines, and it was a bit of a mixed bag. Technical achievement, but sort of the game was kind of lacking, and and I think yeah, if it had that, if it just pushed, I think I think that's the point where it really stopped making games, really, didn't they? Because then it was, a, it was quite a big gap between that. Well, fairly big, I guess. 2004, was it? 2003, this came out. And then Rage, which I guess was like, um, what, 7? 8? I don't know. I liked Rage, though, but... You know, then, then there's nothing again until Doom, so... This really sort of slowed down and became more of like a technical company. Um, and you can kind of see why a little bit here, but... Ah, oh man, yeah, but I think if there was a mod, that, you know, that kind of... Maybe you could like sew the levels together a bit more so you, you don't have to have these separate levels. Although the levels aren't too small, but um, made it a bit more survival horror. And then made the hell bits a bit longer. There is the, the expansion, which I think is in hell. Um, Resurrection of Evil. Which I may or may not play, I'm not too sure. But um, but yeah, I kind of I kind of see what it was going for. <laughs> it just didn't quite get there. And that's like, pity, but... Um, but yeah, it's really interesting game to play when you, you know, play the original, play the new ones. And it's it's funny how much of a... I don't think I've ever heard anyone say this, but like, it's you know, when they're talking about the new games, they go, oh, it's a return to form. But actually, <laughs> most of it comes from this, I think. Um... You know, because the original Doom and Doom 2 doesn't play anything like Doom and Doom Eternal, right? It doesn't have the verticality of it. It doesn't have the rhythm action kind of element to it. The enemies are not as, like, diverse or, you know... it, it, it um, In the way that they attack and the way that they move around. It's very... It's, it's like, movement's heavy in a way that... It just... Uh, because of the engine, really, it, it didn't have the multiple... Um, you couldn't have like a room on top of another, and so there's there's less verticality. I mean, it was definitely in the games, but it wasn't like you know. I really think this is the one that was this actually like um, they just they just they did this properly. That's what they did with the new ones. They they took. I mean, they, I mean, they for went they foregoed the sort of horror aspect, which is a shame to me. I would love to see that, but. They took the enemies with multiple attacks, you know, um, and the design and the, and the lore of it, and um, and they did it again, and they sort of did it, obviously, really, really well. That's kind of fascinating. It's sort of, in a way, it feels like the Forgotten Doom, <laughs> um, but it shouldn't be really. It's kind of, it's, yeah, it's an interesting game, and I, I think. A mod could easily, without too much effort, just punch this up into like, you know, a solid like, this is great, you know, this is fun state. But yeah, very interesting game, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Very long series, I guess, I'm, my longest series, I'm not sure how to handle those, but, um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me for whatever is next. Thank you very much.